Actually, only one welcome you all in this home and part and part of it, thank God. Thank you, welcome home. Thank you very much and God bless you. Thank you so much for the women who will also forgive you if there's anything that you've done that has not been done. One of the most welcoming places that attracted people from far and wide. Despite her limited formal education, Mama Sarah used her God-given talents and skills to impact positively the lives of the most vulnerable in society. Mama Sarah was humble by nature and despite the fact that one of her grandsons occupied the most powerful leadership positions in the world, Mama Sarah remained accessible and interacted freely with persons from all walks of life. Her philanthropic work put her and our country on the global map. With her passing, 
Kenya has lost a virtuous woman and a champion of family values. She and our family have been very close to this family. My late mother in particular. I remember several days that we came here to visit Mama. Mama also visited us at, at home and they talked a lot about development and their children. How the family is important in the life of society and the community. How as much they have seen their children and grandchildren face the difficulties in life and the conquest that they have made. If you read uh, Barack Obama's book, Dream from My Father, he pays a lot of tribute to Mama Sarah. There is that famous photograph where he's carrying a bag on his head to accompany Mama to the market, and how he describes how Mama spent her day trading and with that money educating children. Uh, one important outstanding thing that Mama Sarah was doing, and we cannot just leave it to go free, uh, her philanthropy was above all. And I was trying to ask her, how come you are so touched with the lives of those who do not have? And she told me she has gotten a little from her background, the religion, uh, that it is not good to see somebody hungry and you yourself, you are okay, 